What's going on guys? So this is going to be a quick little video of me uh, just changing my clutch on my 1990 Toyota pickup. Yeah, let's get this going. Alright, so we just slapped the, the drive shaft out real quick. All it is is just four bolt nuts. Um, it's a 14, nothing really too crazy. Uh, I marked it so I make sure I put it in the same exact spot as I did. Some people say to do that, some people don't do it. But, um, you know, always be on the safe side. Got to mark up, uh, got some chalk or something. So the next thing would be the transmission mounts, right? So there's two bolts right up here, right next to the speed sensor. So I got the two bolts right here on this side as well. So this is like the, re the reverse light sensor, I'm pretty sure. And then you have your speed sensor right here. And uh, once we get those out, next thing we'll do to get all the bell housing bolts out. <laughs> all right, got speed sensor out, transmission mounts out. All right, next would be the we got the clutch right here, so nothing really too crazy. This isn't even connected. If you guys are wondering, it just kind of this lever gets pulled on, gets pushed. So we're, I'm gonna unbolt this, kind of move it out of the way, and then start working on all these bell housing bolts. Get all these out, and then uh, we're gonna jump up to the top and get the shifter all disassembled up here, so when we drop it, we'll be good to go. We gotta take this shifter boot out, and to get to that, you gotta pull back the the flooring a little bit and there should be four Phillips heads down here on each corner. So let's grab a Phillips head. All right, so what are you doing right now? We're taking off this this uh, shifter. And we're unscrewing these bolts here. I think there's six of them. So there's one, two, there's two more right here and then two more underneath, so. You got two that you can get from the cab and then you gotta use a uh, it's a normal freaking wrench to get to the four more right here. They're kind of dirty. You know, it's gonna be dirty on 30 year old truck. All right, so we got those uh, those six bolts out. Be careful with this thing, because usually it's probably gonna be freaking fragile. It pulls right out. Kind of looks like that, right? So there's three on each side. You can get these two from inside the cab and underneath, you gotta be underneath the truck for this one. And there, there is a gasket too right there, so you gotta be careful, you know, if it's ripped or anything, you can replace it. Got the exhaust, there's a, a little bracket that holds the exhaust up. Gotta make sure you slide that off. And uh, that little bracket piece comes out. Alright guys, so I wanted to kind of get a picture and show you guys where all the bell housing bolts were. I don't think I explained it too well. We have the two on the top, right? Best way to do it, get a long extension with the swivel socket. Kind of lay back where you put the drive shaft in on the transmission. And you lay back there and you'll be able to get those two top bolts out. And then you have the two starter bolts. Then you have those three bell housing bolts on each side. And that's pretty much it. Okay, a little bit faster. <laughs> oh, slow down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep going. Transmission's out, boys. Uh, the clutch doesn't look too bad. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to, I want to clean this thing off. So I'm just going to slap this, uh, slap this cover back on and then we're going to spray it with some purple power and get it nice and clean. All right, so I got the clutch off. I mean, flywheel looks, uh, like it's got some nice little heat spots all the way around it. That's where we're getting going to the desert. Full truck, <laughs> little, little 22 RE that could. <laughs> I was all nice and clean. Look at those. All right, so I got the clutch alignment tool in here. I'm gonna make sure it's shoved in there. And then we'll put just a little bit of blue Loctite on it. You just have the clutch on, obviously. Like, uh, I put a little bit of blue Loctite on it just for, you know, peace of mind. And then also, too, you want to make sure clutch alignment tool goes in and out nice and smoothly, right? That's what everyone wants. But anyway, yeah, so got everything bolted up for the whole transmission, kind of washed it down. You can see that's the actual color of it. Definitely um, need to fix that, the oil pan situation there. That's another day. But everything's uh, bolted back up now, and... Yeah, we'll make sure it goes into gear, go forward and backward, and we be solid. Yeah, definitely the engagement's something to get used to, because it used to be easier. I think it's it's kind of, it's like, it's like right when I take it off, it's engaging.
definitely you can see a little, a little dirty. That's what happens when you don't really wash under your truck that well and it's 30 years old. So if your truck's a little dirty, definitely expect this. Yeah, but it's definitely it's definitely better than uh, you know taking it to a shop and having to spend all that money on it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions or anything, just let me know in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe. Let's catch you on the next one. Peace.